Tom and G. It's out tomorrow. Ah! I am so. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, so excited. I don't know what to do with myself. I, I, I don't know what to. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know whether people are going to like it or not. I don't know. I just. I don't know. And it's the fear of the unknown that's freaking me out, man. To anyone watching this, there is still a chance to pre-order this if you can't get to a bookshop tomorrow, so I will put the links to iTunes, Amazon, and Waterstones below. I'm gonna stop freaking out for a sec. I'm gonna put my book to one side. I'm gonna pick up this book, because I wanna talk to you about the meaning of Lyft. I was given this at Stage Door a couple weeks ago, and I've seen it around in bookshops, and I've always gone, I don't know what that is. What does that mean? But I've never really had time to pick it up and actually find out. Then I got given it at stage door. Thank you very much to the person who gave this to me at stage door because it really made me giggle. The meaning of lif is the original dictionary of things there should be words for. And I have laughed until I've cried reading some of these. So do you ever have that thing where you sit down on a bus or a train and then someone comes and sits next to you and they sit on the edge of your coat and you suddenly feel really restricted and you can't get up. And so to actually get up and get off the train, you need to go, excuse me, and like tug your coat out from underneath their bum. There's a word for that now. Moffat, the part of a coat which is designed to be sat on by the person next to you on the bus. Excuse me, you're sat on my Moffat? You know when you run a bath and it's too cold and you need to get some more hot water in there but you don't want all the hot water to be at one end of the bath so you slosh all the water around? Holosh, to redistribute the hot water in a bath. Have you ever looked at a double glazed window and realised there's a fly in between the pane of glass? Carbottle, a particular kind of fly which lives inside double glazing. Coriarclet, the moment at which two people approaching from opposite ends of a long passageway recognise each other and immediately pretend they haven't. This is to avoid the ghastly embarrassment of having to continue recognising each other for the whole length of the corridor. I think this book is brilliant. I love this book. I love the idea that someone sat down and gone, right, there's a thing, there's not a word for it. Let's just make one up. And this book is full of them. It's so good. Here are some other ones that I really enjoy. Slubbery. The gooey drips of wax that dribble down the sides of a candle. Radlet. The single hemisphere of dried pea which is invariably found in an otherwise spotlessly clean saucepan. Dinder. To nod thoughtfully while someone gives you a long and complex set of directions which you know you're never going to remember. Lemvig. A person who can be relied upon to be doing worse than you. Anyway, I just wanted to share that book with you because I think it's brilliant. And reading this is making me calm down about the fact that mine's out tomorrow! Oh my god! Ah! Today I look like this. And I shall see you next Wednesday. Ah. It is currently 9.34 in the morning and I've just woken up because last night I booked myself in to get a tattoo.